Shogun's life is not in danger, but still he must rest up for now. I just can't understand it. Why didn't we stand and fight? With my fleet, it was a battle we could have won! We were following the Shogun's orders. He did not wish for us to fight. And frankly, Enomoto, I believe he means to lay down his very life for the million citizens of Edo. And you will allow this? You are a samurai! Is it not your duty to protect your lord and master? It is indeed. And that's why I have a very important job for you. Enomoto must take His Excellency and his men to safety overseas. The people of Edo, too, should use what ships they have to escape. Escape, you say? You can't be serious. After that, we will set Edo ablaze. I have already told Chief Tatsugoro of the firefighters our plan. We will destroy anything useful to our enemies. When they are weakened, we'll have a chance to negotiate. You really mean to sacrifice Edo? If Edo were to become a battlefield, it would be utter carnage. Countless citizens would perish. No, this is the only way. The restoration is nigh. And all shall burn. The Sekihotai will see it done. Hey, that's a nice blade you got there. Any interest in working as a bodyguard? The shops around here have lately been the target of so-called expulsionists. Refuse to pay them a fee, and they'll mess up your place good. I'm starting to get worried about my own shop, so... What do you say? Would you help me guard my store? Oh, thank you. If you could start right away, that would be great. Though the ruffians probably won't be here till night. I'm enjoying my retirement. And occasionally, I'll slaughter some scum in my free time. You don't mind that, do you? Perhaps I'll tell you the whole story someday. But why do you hear? There's something I wanted to say to you. It's about your decision to not take Lord E's life. Thank you for that. 
After being thrust from public life, he was cut down by an assassin. Still, I'm sure he remained strong till the end. Well, now that I've thanked you, tell me, what are you doing here in Edo? I see. So you want to be of use to the country my lord worked to protect. How about I lend you a hand? As much as it pains me. Is that sarcasm? Huh. Perhaps we are not so different after all. But I must look for a suitable place to stay. Come look for me if ever you need. Goodbye for now. Is it over? Please, I'd like to talk with you. You are amazing! Clearly, your blade isn't just for show. Thanks to you, I can continue my business in peace. You take care of yourself too. I really can't thank you enough. Day laborer at Edo Castle. Good things come to those who wait. I knew you would come. It must be fate. Around the same time you did, of course. In any case, there is something that I'd like to talk to you about. I've already picked out the place. Well, will you come with me? Wonderful. Let us be on our way then. Say, mind if I tell you a bit about my past while we walk? <laughs> Years ago. I worked as a day laborer at Edo Castle. While there, I happened into the employ of a generous noble. Those days are long gone, but I really had it good. Huh. You know, it so happens that it was snowing on that day also. We are almost there. You'll know it when you see it. Right. Let's stop here, shall we? I believe you are already quite familiar with this spot. Indeed. This is the place where Lord E was attacked. By you, no less. I don't make mistakes. It's my business to know things after all. Like how there was a veiled edge amongst the men who attacked Lord Oi at the Sakurada Gate. And that it was a veiled edge who murdered him. You see, all this time I've been watching you, testing your strength. And my suspicions have been confirmed. You are that veiled edge. So I ask you, who was it that murdered my lord? What? Your blade twin? Then you must tell me the rogue's whereabouts this instant. Let's go, Veiled Enemy of Lord of E! Uh-huh. 
won't go down so easily! Is this the end? I don't understand. What's wrong, Velvage? Why won't you finish the job? Hmm. Wonderful. Not that it matters, seeing as I've lost. But let me ask you one thing. What are your true feelings about Lord E? Tell me, did his death accomplish anything? Really? You believe my lord accomplished that? So, his death was not in vain. Thank you. I promise to not speak a word of what has happened here today. The public will be better for it, as will you, I imagine. <laughs> Naturally, I will make no mention of it in my writing, either. Good question. With Lord Oi gone, I have no further ties to the Shogunate. Who knows? I may open up a used bookstore and then continue peddling information on the side. But I do hope we will meet again someday, if the fates allow. Have you heard from Katsu? Ijikata is intent on getting back at the Satsuma Choshu Alliance for what was done to Kondo. The fool is beyond listening to reason. In fact, he's even gone so far as to drive us all out from the outpost. Katsu mentioned something about Saito willing to help. However, it appears Lord Katamori has called him away. This is when Katsu is trying to prevent an all-out battle for Edo. Should the Shinsengumi wage war, I fear that all his efforts will have been wasted. We may have to stop them by force, but they're already stocking up on heavy artillery. Getting involved now would surely result in retaliation. That said, with your help we might stand a chance. I beg of you. Talk to Hijikata. I'm counting on you. Be sure to tread carefully. Oh. Semono! Go to me first! 
Even if I am to die here today, you hear me? Kondo wanted us to live, Ijigata. You mustn't forget the mission he entrusted to us on that day. Force this fight. The Shogun's army may very well have met a sorry end. You know, Kondo told me to become a samurai for a new age. I wonder how can I do that? I think we should look for the answer to that question together, Hijikata. Besides, you can always die later. Yes. It seems I need to calm my mind. We won't start a fight for selfish reasons. That is my promise as the vice captain of the Shinsengumi. I shall now go and calm my troops. They must be pretty worked up. But remember, all of us fully intend to fight and die like true samurai. So the next time we fight, it will be to the death. Until then, if you have any business to discuss with us, we will receive you here. <laughs> 